All right, today we want to try something with a staff. I've seen a lot of sparring videos on YouTube where the staff user is, is very gentle with the staff and the, the sword user just controls it easily and rushes in. I just want to see how well you can actually deal with a quarter staff strike. I'm going to start out light. So this is a rattan staff, relatively uh, thin and quite flexible. So this should be relatively easy to parry. Let's see how that goes. It's already quite the thump. Yeah, this. Now, if you see the difference there, with the first one, what he did was just a static block, like this. And that is, even with this light staff, it's not super easy to maintain. So if I strike like this and it, it throws his guard off, then I could possibly follow up like this. Uh, whereas what he does, the active, the fence, there you go. So now his thrust is online and my staff is off. So I'd have to retreat in this case or figure something else out. Okay, let's do it with the right hand. So you can, you can definitely put more power into it if your strong hand is gripping it down low. And generally the further down you grip it, the more oomph it's gonna have. If I were to throw this, that would not be very powerful, but if I throw this, it's gonna have a lot more of an effect. So let's test here. I'm just gonna test the measure, there we go. So I'm deliberately striking out of measure just to make sure that I don't smack him full force with this thing. A rigid block against so much momentum is hard to do. A deflectional parry works much better. Yep, that works. However, if the strike is actually in measure, then the swordsman needs to use yeah. evasive footwork as well. Otherwise, the staff may still hit. Definitely more challenging. Yeah, there it is immediately. My timing and body mechanics are not perfect, so the strike could be done better. Even so, it's really hard to defend and can create an opening for a thrust. As soon as I smack this aside, there is, you know, even if I cross the line just a little bit, I can go in for the thrust. So it's a good setup. But uh, let's see what a heavier staff does. Are you looking forward to it? Oh yeah. <laughs> so here is an ash quarter staff. This one here is fairly thick, one and a quarter inches. Okay, so left hand first. <laughs> it's quite the impact, isn't it? Oh yeah. But stronger. That caves in, yeah, I can see that. That works, still works better. Barely. Remember that we're out of measure to keep this demonstration nice and safe. A proper attack would be at this range, so if he doesn't step back, he really needs to redirect the staff to the side. Otherwise, he gets hit in the head despite defending. So, it doesn't crush the defense completely, but it's, it's a bit harsher to parry than a sword cut, isn't it? Yep. Nope. Even that doesn't work, yeah, it's just the staff has too much momentum. And here's the, oh, yeah. the thrust again. So if I do that slowly, so you see what he was trying there, that's a krumpow. So this is, works just fine against a sword. It would just knock the sword down and now he's got the opening and he can do whatever he wants to me. With a staff that just doesn't work. No. Yeah, this actually blew through. So in this case, I don't know how well you could see that, but if I had been in measure, this would have actually blown through and hit his head. Okay, I'm gonna give it a little more oomph here. So yeah. I got nothing. And, and this, you know, again, it crossed the line, so this would have hit your head if we were in measure. And even outside of measure, the sword is constrained and the thrust is lined up. Thrusts are shown a lot in the historical manuals, even with blunt staves. They can do a lot of damage to bone, and they can stun or throw the opponent off for follow-up attacks. Okay, and here's a hickory staff. It's uh, even stouter wood. Now, to be fair, they wouldn't have used that in historical times. There was no hickory in Europe, as far as I know. So they would have used ash, but they might have used thicker ones even. And some of them also were reinforced with iron at the ends, so out of measure. Okay. <laughs> and this was not a very hard one. Yeah, that blows right through. 
Yeah, this you managed to stop. So the active parry still seems to work. He's still able to stop it. Not as effectively as with a sword Barely. by any means. Barely, yeah. But at least he can stop it at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, blew right through. Even that, that didn't. Right on point. Yeah. So it's really hard to stop a staff with a sword. Now, the other thing I want to point out is uh, people often think that if you have a sword and your opponent has a, a spear or any kind of wooden hafted weapon, you can just cut it in half, right? Just easy. But here's, here's the problem. So if he strikes at my staff, no. <laughs> How about no? <laughs> so it's not that hard to, to move it, or even if he makes contact, if I just don't hold it rigidly, but let it you know, pass through and then turn it into a cut, uh, oh cut, <laughs> strike, then that's not so much an option. So yeah, if you, if you ram a staff in the ground, affix it solidly, and then give it your hardest cut, of course you're gonna cut into it, you're not going to cut it through in, all, in one swing, at least if it's good wood. But uh, of course, you're going to do a lot of damage. But since the opponent actually moves it around and is not supposed to have this super rigid structure where everything is tense all the time, that's not really an option. And if I'm not mistaken, several man, uh, manuals also say that you should not be chasing your opponent's weapon by yes. attacking at them. So if he's got a staff and I'm attacking towards his weapon, I'm not threatening him at all. He's free to do whatever he wants in the fight. Yeah. And um, Meyer also has, well, and other sources as well, also have a one-handed staff <laughs> strike, which you, know, you may think that, oh, it's just one hand. It's less power. No, it's actually more. There we go. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> yeah, yeah, it goes awesome. right through. So this is quite a powerful swing, actually. And of course, needless to say, the stronger the staff user is, the worse it is. There are some guys here at Blood and Iron, if they did what I just did, ow. Okay, so just for fun, <laughs> against the one-handed sword, it's not gonna be fun for him, but, so just a bit of a lazy swing here. You see, that's just not much. <laughs> but he can try something else. That is better. Now you can't reach. <laughs> Although, to be fair, if I was striking in measure, you may actually have yeah. a better chance. So you just stand there, I'll check my measure. So I'm gonna do a relatively light swing, just in case. So boom, there we go. Yeah. That could work. Right in the injured shoulder, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, if I, if I strike in measure, yeah. Then you, you actually have a chance to just about get my leg there. Yeah. So it's not hopeless against the staff. If you're good, then you still have a chance, even with a single-handed sword, but it's, it's definitely a substantial disadvantage. If there are two people at equal skill, I would generally bet on the oh, staff yeah. or spear. Yeah. See, that works. Oh, okay. Yep. That, that seems to work pretty well, actually. So I had to catch up, so I don't want to loss. Yeah. It will deflect off the rim. Yeah, so if I actually throw the rim with my pounce off yeah. my leg. So if I, yeah, yeah, I think that's actually the best. Yeah. So this way, we'll blow the problem through. is it's, it's right here. Yeah. If you count it the other way, I don't have as many options. Yeah. Yeah. So in this case, I'd have to and then it kind of bounce off and come out, but you're already Break your hand with my buckler. That's a good thing. So I think sword and buckler or sword and shield is much better against this. That would definitely be a decent chance, I think. But of course, if the staff of spear user is focused on the thrusting game, faint high, smack the leg, thrust, that sort of thing. Considering how challenging a simple staff is to deal with, imagine the fun experience of facing a massive blade or spiked hammer at the end of said staff when all you have is a sword. Makes it easy to imagine why great swords seemed like a good idea. Thanks for watching. Yeah. <laughs>